very idea of a 36-inch pipeline carrying tar sand oil and coursing its way up through our sand hills pastures and through our sub-irrigated hay meadows is the kind of thing that nightmares are made of. And I am not being overly dramatic. Having spent a lifetime on this land, I know what the construction phase alone of this pipeline will bring to this fragile sand hills land. It will be devastating. There has not been an independent, thorough, adequate uh, environmental impact statement done, so this permit shouldn't even be considered until that is completed. Keystone XL pipeline will actually be completely immersed in the aquifer waters in Hull County. Only water-saturated sand will separate this toxic mix from the deeper water that we drink. The pipeline will not be crossing the Ogallala Aquifer. It will be gushing through the aquifer. Given Keystone's track record, it's very likely that we will have a spill or a constant leak. So how do you clean up an oil leak in the sand hills? How do you separate sand, oil, and water? The answer is you can't. How do you clean contaminated water? It's not possible. When TransCanada's paid lobbyists say that this pipeline is safe, when TransCanada's hired experts say there's no threat to the aquifer, when TransCanada's contractor, Cardinal Intrix, says that risks of contamination to the aquifer and damage to the sand hills is not significant enough to warrant concern, they're saying something else. They're saying that the people here, and our basic human rights, and our basic human needs, and our simple way of life are of no consequence to them. Why would it be in the nation's best interest to let TC collapse our local economy, ruin our roads, poison our water, and tear up our sand hills, and have no long-term economic stimulus for Nebraska or its workforce? Why are we here tonight defending our property, our resources, and our water from a foreign corporation that doesn't even have a permit to be operating in this country? These sand hills are a national treasure, and the water under this ground is worth more than all the oil in the world.